This is group Apollo 11 from Phantom Plague. Hello, guys. Uh, I'm Kenneth Parker with John Tinson and Emily Russell, and today we have a special guest, Neil Armstrong. All right. Uh, he's going to take the stage first for us for a speech about Apollo 11. In the summer of 1958, the Congress wrote and the President signed the National Space Act establishing National Aeronautics and Space Administration. And I remember the first, the, the time clearly 50 years ago. I was high above the California, the California desert piloting a B-29 carrier aircraft and launching the X-1E, the latest and most advanced, most advanced uh, of the Fable X-1 research airplane series. NASA became an operating agency on October 1st, 1958. I found myself that Wednesday morning going to work at my same job, my same office, doing the same work that I had been doing the previous day. It was relatively easy transition. We were already riding on rockets and research aircraft. We already knew how to count backwards and colon eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We had merely to paint over C in NASA and replace it with C. All right, on our airplanes, our trucks, and our vans, the other principal components of the new agency, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the California Institution, Institute uh, of Technology, and the Army Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama. Soon they were deciding what the minimum amount of space administration went. Minimum amount of what? Oh, I messed up. Amount of painting would require at the installations and what new responsibilities they would face. Thank you. Alright, so what is Apollo 11? Apollo 11 was, of course, the first manned mission to the moon to successfully land on the moon. It was commanded by Neil Armstrong, uh, co-piloted by Buzz Aldrin, and there is another astronaut on board. Um, um, oh, Michael Collins was the other astronaut, and he worked as the pilot aboard the uh, spacecraft, and he did not walk on the moon. Like his uh, mission counterparts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Mission objective Apollo 11's mission objective was to land human beings on the moon and safely return them back to Earth. The astronauts who landed on this mission were Neil A. Armstrong, Ben Collins, and Edward E. Alton. Apollo 11 was a manned aircraft that was launched from. Cape Kennedy. It was launched on July 16, 1969. Apollo was the first manned flight. It carried uh, carried uh, command module pilot Michael Collins, Commander Neil Armstrong, me, and lunar module pilot Buzz Aldrin. The orbit was around the Earth, 114 to 116 miles long, um, around five. 130 million people watched Neil you know, Armstrong stream, so me stream from the moon, and heard heard me discuss my landing and talked about one small step for man and one huge leap for all of mankind. I guess the mission details. Uh, Apollo 11 was in the lunar orbit within 76 hours, so within. 76 hours, which is a little over three days, or around three days, uh, it was orbiting the moon. And then after 100 hours total, the uh, space path landed on the moon with everyone alive and flying on it. And then uh, Buzz, Ald uh, yeah, Buzz Aldrin, oh no, Neil Armstrong.
Armstrong recorded the entire thing and like it was streamed to live television throughout the entire experience. And uh, there was uh, moon rocks and samples from things from the moon that they were going to study and they both brought it back to NASA for research. Alright, a science mission. The very first steps in another planetary body were taken by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on July 20th, 1996. Um, they took samples from the moon to uh, study and see um, if life capabilities were possible, which we pretty much knew at this time that they were. Uh, if any water was found on the, the moon. And yeah. It's a picture of the moon. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the flight path of Apollo 11. Uh, actually, there's a lot of science that goes into this because um, it has to be perfectly lined up with the time and dates. We had to slingshot around the Earth, and we had to move accordance to the rotation of the moon that moves around Earth. And, yeah. On July 19th, the first lunar orbit insertion maneuver before that, Apollo 11 had flown behind the moon out of contact with Earth. 75 hours, 50 minutes into the flight, the spacecraft ran into an orbit of 69 by 190 miles. The orbit was in the Apollo 11 landed July 16, 1969 at 6.32 a.m. On July 16, 1969, from Pad A, the Saturn V rocket launches from launches on Apollo 11 mission. It was launched from Kennedy Space Center at 9.32 a.m. Landing the Apollo 11 was the hardest part of my mission, um, thus being because of the U.S. first uh, lunar, it was the first time we ever landed a lunar module. Um, astronauts aren't, well me, and my fellow astronauts Aldrin um, landed the Eagle, that's the name of the lunar module, uh, to explore the moon. The region, that, the region we were exploring was the Sea of Tranquility, service module Columbia, and my other fellow astronaut Collins remained with the command and stayed in the lunar orbit. Okay, so this is Buzz Aldrin, here's a picture of him, and then... That's Mike for Yeah. And then, maybe so, uh, he was the pilot of the whole Apollo 11, and uh, he was the second person to step man on the moon. Uh, before the mission, he had uh, experience as an astronaut to take part in the Gemini program. Uh, which is also another series of man launches into space. Oh, the moon landing. Apollo 11 was a manned spacecraft that launched from Cape Kennedy on July 16th. Uh, after two hours uh, into orbit, the S SIVB engine was set acceleration the spacecraft to uh, Earth gravity escape. Now, I can explain a little bit more on that since I'm the expert. Um, the SIVB engine was the engine that got us into space, and then while we were up in the sky, it accelerated more so we can get out of the Earth's like gravity, so we can go past the atmosphere. Um, here's some interesting facts. Buzz Aldrin secretly took communion before stepping out of the ship onto the moon. Um, Richard Nixon prepared a speech in case the mission failed. The American flag was placed on the moon, was knocked over from the rocket's exhaust. A small gold olive branch was left on the moon, symbolizing peace. Apollo 11 was part of an international space race. So, you know, we had to beat the communists over at, in Russia. Like, we, we have to be better than them, which we are. We're the best country in the world. And that's why we got to the moon first. We took the extra steps to get to the moon before anybody else because we are the most high tech technological countries in the world. And we just had to prove that. Well, we're really the first man to be on the moon. It's like they had the Sputnik and all that. But oh, yeah, I got to the moon yeah. before them. And then, so we have questions for everyone here. Uh, who is the commander of the Apollo 11 flight? Neil Armstrong. Okay, uh, what was the Apollo 11's main objective? Ooh, to land on the moon. Got it right, yeah, buddy. To land, yeah, like people on 
And to become the first one. Yeah. Uh, what was the name of the service module? Anyone else? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. How long did it take them to get to the moon? A little over three days. Around. How many people were on the crew to Apollo 11? No. Uh, <laughs> Mine. Yep. Yeah. Good job. Alright. So then, yeah. Two hours. Well, it like, took us two hours to actually land on the moon. Yeah, it feels like a, a, almost around a three-day whole expedition. Yeah, that's like how long it took us to get like, to, to get there, be there, and like come. The like, initial landing process took two hours. Yeah, and it was Columbia, not Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> what was the Eagle? The Eagle was, was like the actual. Was the lunar module. The, the, it was the lunar module, the yeah. part that landed on the moon. Right, Columbia so. was the part that stayed in orbit. No, Columbia was the thing that landed on the moon. Mm -hmm. The Eagle was. Other way around. Oh, 